wants our help with something. We should go pay a visit to the Knights of Avonius when we have a moment. Hmm, wonder what's up this time. Paimon and the Traveler. I've been waiting for you. Whoa. Looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Klee and Kaya are here too. Oh, it's Paimon and Mr. Honorary Knight. It's been so long. Ah, look who it is. You've caught me completely off guard this time. But then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. <laughs> Guess we were so excited to see Jean again that we forgot to knock. I hope we didn't startle anyone. Uh, wait a sec. You weren't talking about anything that we're not supposed to hear, were you? Hey, stop pretending like we're doing food delivery. It's been a while since we last met. But I can see you two haven't changed one bit. Don't worry, we weren't discussing anything confidential. In fact, we were just talking about you. Maybe we should let the star of the story explain it in their own words. Yeah! Let me tell it! Let me tell it! A few days ago, I was reading Todoko Tales in the solitary confinement room when all of a sudden... Whoosh! A letter came flying in through the window! Flying through the window? How does the letter fly? Like a bird does! It was flapping its wings! It could even talk! It said... Um, well, it was a bunch of stuff I didn't understand. You couldn't understand? Then it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. Ahem. <clears throat> Kaya? Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment slip by. <sighs> okay, I know. Anyway, the letter said, Oh, Klee, are you behaving? I see you've wound up in the solitary confinement room again. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news! I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Oh, so the letter's from Alice! In principle, yes. <sighs> but the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. Mm -hmm. The letter says that Mom's friend lives in Sumeru. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Klee off to Sumeru on her own. But Klee is rather intent on taking Alice's friend up on this invitation. I really want to go! Uh, you see? So we were wondering, who can we send with her on the journey? Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and with a history of saving Mondstadt. Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you so well. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? <laughs> can you really, Mr. Honorary Knight? Yay! With Mr. Honorary Knight around, Klee's not afraid of anything! See, I told you that he'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Klee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. And you too, Kaya. You should join them. I noticed you quietly completed that backlog of paperwork we had. 
You deserve the chance to unwind a little. Oh, so you noticed. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. Great! Things will go even more smoothly with Kaya around. Still, Tamaru is pretty far. It's gonna be a long journey. Don't worry. Mom's letter had a magic invite inside. Mom says we just have to all shout out where we want to go at the same time. And poof! We'll be there in the blink of an eye. Wow. Well, that'll definitely make things easier. It only works three times, though. So we should only use it when we really need to. Three's plenty. One for the way there, one for the way back, and one extra, just for good measure. Sounds very mysterious. I still think we should use it sparingly. After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed, or what dangers we may encounter on the way. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, you're well connected. I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. I say we start by teleporting to one of them. It'll give us a chance to test out the magic invite, and also find ourselves a local guide. Sense. And since it has three uses, there's no point letting one of them go to waste. Couldn't have put it better myself, Paimon. So, do you have a particular contact in mind? <laughs> well, we need someone who's familiar with Sumeru and can be our guide. So, sounds like we need a forest ranger. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... That's the one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. All right. Gandarvaville it is. Okay, I'm happy wherever we go. Especially with Paya and Mr. Honorary Knight. We should be on our way then. If you'll excuse us, Acting Grandmaster. Yes. Let the wind lead. I wish you a safe journey. And Klee... I know, I know. I'll be careful, I promise. Great! Okay, you guess nothing. Take us to... Gandarvaville! Gandarvaville. Grand Arbor Hill! Huh? No, it's not a hill! Ah, wait! <laughs> I'm sure we were about to end up someplace super weird. <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. It's okay, Klee. Good news is this magic invite really does work. Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt, the next we're in Sumeru. So this is where Mom's friend lives? Wow, there are so many big flowers. Oh, and jumpy mushrooms! Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet! Sumeru's full of strange stuff like this! Like, um... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hyman was pretty creeped out the first time he saw one of those. Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one... It'll try to hit you with its cap. Really? Okay, well, I'll hit it back with my cap. And then I'll hit it with the hood on my jacket, too. <laughs> I'll definitely win if it's two hats against one. As long as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. But please, her friend, so we should be able to convince her to keep this trip explosion free. Right? Uh-huh. I'll be extra careful not to blow anything up. Um, I mean, I'll try my best. Ah, that's very good of you, Klee. You're being very grown up today. Yep, I'm super grown up. I'm already the Spark Knight. Okay, Spark Knight. Well, keep up the good work, because very soon we'll be...
will be introducing you to a friend of ours called Tainari in Gandarvadil. Hmm. I've definitely heard the other forest rangers mention somebody dressed like that before. I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Hmm? Who do we have here? Traveler and Paimon! Huh? Oh! Kaya and Klee are here too! Hi, Kale! It's been ages! Kale! Yeah! What are you two doing here? Well, that question's really more for you, La. Uh... What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into a fellow Favonian captain this far from Mondstadt. How's the vacation going? Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? <sighs> Is it just Paimon, or does Yua not look particularly thrilled right now? Oh, cool! Great idea! Let's go! <sighs> if you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. Uh, but earlier you were... Great! Well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Sumeru. Do share it with us. If you must know, it's a little complicated. But, simply put, I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lawrence clan. He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that led us here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? What was he going to do, enroll at the Academia? I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has any interest in intellectual pursuits. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing wrong with that idea in principle, but I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So, there's no knowing what lengths he might go to. As a knight and a member of the Lawrence clan, it's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. Oh, -ho. if this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Mondstadt is no mean feat. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. <laughs> He has no idea what's coming to him. You know, underneath it all, Paimon thinks Eula's a really caring person. Yeah, she's the best! She brought me some moon pie last time. <clears throat> he is family, after all. Anyway, I will make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. <sighs> now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? Hmm... I'm afraid that could be tricky. Master Tainari is still at Partis the Eye delivering his lectures. Uh, he isn't due back for a while. But I think I'll be able to help out. The description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure it's hinting at somewhere in the desert. The desert? Hmm? Does that mean Mom's friend is from the desert? Hmm... I guess I'll call her Auntie Desert for now. I remember Mahamatra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Ah, uh, wait, wait. He said I should just call him Sino. Mm, I keep forgetting that. Huh. A domain that makes people's wishes come true. Wow! So is it true? 
Does it really exist? I probably would have believed it a few years ago. But now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. This explains a lot. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured he had nothing to lose. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru Desert mythology on his shelves. I highly suspect that he, too, is looking for that domain. Can I come, too? I think you might need me there. You'll definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru. And I, uh, I think I have what it takes to be that person. Plus, it's a forest ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kale. Our party grows bigger and stronger still. What say you to this, Captain Klee? I think it's super cool! I read in a storybook that on your own you can only have a drop of happiness, but in a group you have a whole ocean. So I'm sure Mom's friend will be super happy if I show up to visit and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. That's the spirit. In that case, let's get the magic invite to take us there. Sight. Yes, the scenery is quite magnificent. <sighs> Are you okay, Eula? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than in Mondstadt. <clears throat> this area doesn't look very habitable, and... I don't see a domain entrance nearby either. Oh no. Uh, I, I didn't pronounce the destination wrong. Did I? I mean, I don't think I did. Nope. You got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. Klee's right. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. Phew. Hmm. Maybe the entrance is hidden under a sand dune. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. Oh, I'm on so tired and so thirsty. Hmm. We should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. Huh? How could that happen? Uh-oh. Did I break it by accident? But I didn't do anything. Dodoko will back me up. I'm innocent. Uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. Hmm. Does Mr. Honorary Knight have an idea? where you're going with this? Interesting approach. Assuming we're right about this magic invite. That is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Oh, I get it now. Plus, I know a super special trick we can use. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us too? Of course! Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now, so Klee's not afraid. Look, something flew over. Huh? It looks like... a bottle. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. Absolutely not. It's not my style. 
I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumeru mythology. So, uh, is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? A domain? In a bottle? Huh. Well, if there's one thing we learned in Liyue, it's never judge a domain by its cover. Guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way in. Come on, reach out with your hand. We made it! Ah, oh, that answers that question. There's a path! I'm gonna take a look! Hey, don't run off and leave us all behind. Look! Look! There's a huge garden here! Incredible. It looked so small from the outside. Everyone, I suggest that we stop here for a moment. We should take stock of our surroundings before deciding on our next course of action. Since we're in a bottle, has anyone heard the story of the magic bottle? Oh, you mean the one about King Deshret and the genie in a bottle? I've read it before, but I struggled with some of the vocabulary. <laughs> What's the story about, Kaya? Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land. But I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of the magic bottle. But if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. Oh. Okay, I got it. I'll stay with the group from now on. Hmm. You sense it too, don't you, Kale? Something's not quite right. Yeah. The scenery here is beautiful, but <laughs> it's too quiet. And there's no sign of Klee's Auntie Desert here anywhere. Maybe Auntie Desert lives way further down inside. <laughs> this place is super big, just like Fischl's Immer Nachfreisch. Oh, we still have a long way to go. Guess we won't know until we get there. Let's keep going. Hopefully, we'll meet her soon. It looks like no one set foot on this road for quite some time. I agree. And the further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. Let's check it out! I shall treasure this good fortune. what it feels like. Can I touch it? It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. Uh, that's so scary! Stop giving Paimon on the heebie-jeebies! Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then... nothing at all will happen. Hmm... I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! 
Okay, okay. Pineal won't touch it. Jeez. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Wait, who goes there? It doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? R really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up by my hole? I don't think it's hungry. Are you water droplet? Oh, dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Wait! Don't go! Wait for us! Why'd it stop? Maybe you can understand us after all. Oh, I get it now. It's leading the way for us, just like the cats in Mondstadt. Like the cats? How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, You'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting. 